My name is uh, Jim McGuinness. Uh, I'm from Derry in Northern Ireland. Yeah, every day consists of coming in, going through our checks, making sure everything's working, working order on the fire engine, making sure whatever equipment we're going to use for that day uh, is is working and and um, and in top condition. And then we go, we make sure that that everything is in, on the on the pump is is up and working. And then we just uh, we do a lot of uh, home fire safeties, going to people's houses, uh, fitting smoke alarms, going to schools, do some fire safety talks, and maybe go out in the drill yard, do some drill, and then interspersed and that is uh, be fire calls. This is my, w my wife, um, she, she's not too too over the moon about it because, uh, you know, it's, um, 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 because we work nights, you're out, you're out, you're out, you're out of the house two nights, a week, two nights a week, so she doesn't like that aspect of it, like, you know. I think the kids tend to, you know, they, they, they like the fact I'm a fireman, but uh, my wife, she's not overjoyed with it. Yeah, it can be a bit like a family. We do we do a lot of socialising together, and we do we, we, we spend 96 hours a week with each other, so you do spend a lot of time, and you eat meals together, um, you, you, know, you sleep in the same room on nights together, and uh, so, yeah, we, we, we are a bit like a family. We have a lot of arguments as well, so, yeah, like a family. Biggest fear would be uh, getting injured and, and not being able to you know, lead a normal life, you know, being injured in, in the job and not being able to lead a normal life. The only thing that sort of sticks to me is uh, the way people uh, treat their children. Um, you go to these uh, RTCs, road traffic collisions or, or fires and you, and you see children in positions which they shouldn't be in and you think how can an adult let, you know, leave the kid and be in such a, a vulnerable position. We say we work as a team and uh, we've got, uh, when you make a mistake, there's always somebody there to, to sort of help, help you make sure it doesn't get any worse. And the same, same, same with myself, you're always on the lookout making sure that you, you're covering somebody else's back, like, you know. So we all make mistakes, you know, on, on, on the occasions when I've sort of been sort of personally responsible for, for, for saving somebody. And it's, you know, it is, it's quite a nice feeling, like, you know. Um, when you when you when you, you know, when you help somebody, um, no, save no, save save their life. Like you know, it's happened a few times, and you just it's just an, it's just a nice feeling, proud moment, like you know, that you've actually done something to change somebody's life completely.